As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Sail home! Military class brig on the horizon! Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Show die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters! Fire! 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 Sir. On your mark, Captain! Fire! Fire! Got us that time! Close up! Eat her stick!
It's the hill where the slippery tail climbs up aloft and reefs the top sail. And it's windy weather, boys, stormy weather, boys, when the wind blows, we're all to the sail. Get up! Main mast, bring mast, bringing the top hollies! Boost! Boys, steady, she go. And then up, jump, fire! Start with the fire! Enemy making for more sail! All sail! Ready to rip the yards off the wind! Is the man with us off the wind! Ready to box, sir! Fire! Keep off of those men! Let's go! 
Let's go! More sail! All sail! That was a rumble, by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So, how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. You'll see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking. Care to lose all the unwanted attention? You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's hard. But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. 
Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. 
still a mere boy, and yet... ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Nice. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. Mr. Beckford knows our fair, and with a quality he knows is so molasses and raw game. That's a given. It's gladly to hear your saying so. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Presume too much, sir. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It's a good harvest. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything like a friendly port can. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you say, stuff. All up and up, well, boys. We're going home. Hold! Look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Ade. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Hold on, there's trouble a fall. I see them. Ghost the Royals, toss! Loose and trim too! Studs up! Let's get yeah. moving! Someone blow me in! Man your suit! Think she's a cutter! Colors are in place! Just the lone shit, Captain! We're 
Clear, Captain. This man's working for Peter Backford's people. Do you know them? The Backfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Backfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. It's a hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers and across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like bird lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? It's all got to be moved, lads. Is there no one over here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. The key, goddammit! Someone find me the key! No more complaints. You're paid to work. We're not done here, Smith. Hold, man. Uh, uh, uh. That leaves the 
Mince the packets in plum with vittle. against an enslavement <laughs> <laughs> like a bloody
Another load after this. <laughs> 